Hello, hello everyone. Thanks for dropping in. You're here at Positive Vibes with Ariel, healing body, mind, and soul. I have the good fortune and opportunity today to talk with the co-authors of one of our upcoming anthologies here from Body, Mind, Soul TV and Media Network. I'm super excited to introduce this duo because one of the duo happens to be my old friend. I mean, not my old friend, but longtime <laughs> friend. I should be careful about language, right? My dear friend, <laughs> Kathleen Michaels Brader and her partner, Matthew Noonan. Now they're coming forward as awakened leaders in our next anthology, Awakened Leaders empowering stories of self-healing, triumph, and transformation. I'm gonna let them tell you what their chapter is about and why they decided to step forward as empowered, awakened leaders at this time. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Positive Vibes with Ariel. Yay. Hi, Hi Ariel. we're doing great. Very well. <laughs> Awesome. So now I've known Kathleen for a very long time. We go way back as holistic healing practitioners, as energy workers, as light workers. And Matthew, I think that I can suffice it to say you're also a light worker and a spiritual teacher of sorts. Can you? So I know you guys very well. You're great personal friends of mine. But can you tell the audience a little bit about the work that you do and how you are raising consciousness on the planet at this time. Sure. <laughs> well, so the chapter uh, is a two-part chapter. It deals with my personal journey that I've been on from um, using substance, many substances, alcohol, and the recovery process that I've been on, which has really been a spiritual healing journey. I sought out traditional means and none of them worked for me and none of them resonated with me. Um, even while using substance, I was on a spiritual journey. So once I met Kathleen, everything changed. <laughs> Okay, good. Well, Kathleen, why don't you tell us a little bit about the work that you do and, and what you're doing as a healer at this time and how you're empowering others with your gifts. So one of the things that I, um, my passion is actually to help people um, release unwanted expressions out of their life. So basically we use lots of methods like clearing, um, processes, um, meditation processes, uh, talk therapy, all mm -hmm. kinds of things to get to the root of whatever it is that you want to release. And um, the best way that I have found to do that is just in a loving way to be able to just not hold someone's hand through their process, but to kind of guide them and ask questions so they can discover their own truth. So you are a, a recover a life recovery coach, right? It's so you're a, yes, I got it, I got it, yes, or a soul recovery um, coach, as I would say. Well, I know Kathleen a little bit um, better. So the two of you have co-authored the chapter "Empowered Recovery and the Dance of Life." So um, math, it's by Matthew Noonan and my friend here, Kathy um, Kathleen Michaels Brader, and. Um, we would love to know, tell the audience, what made you decide to step forward with this story at this time, this dance of life um, chapter that you've composed? Well, one of the things that we really wanted to show people is that um, the universe has a way of bringing the people that you need to be with um, uh, I'm just trying to think of a, it's a very, it's not an easy description to do. Um, Matthew, maybe you could try. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, most importantly, um, it was what Kathleen does more than anything is help an individual like myself become self-empowered to heal yourself. And the healing is through uh, a huge part of it has been through clearing out the stories for lack of a better description, the personal history, the trauma that has occurred in an individual's life that occurred in my life. You know, with all of the different processes that she uses, we were able to do work with my inner community, meaning all of the uh, ages that are inside of me, mm -hmm. to clear away traumatic experiences that happened at different points in my life, um, to remove thought processes that are poisonous, <laughs> for lack of a better description. Um, and she's done this, uh, it, I was just amazed at the difference that, you know, we, we did it through substance, uh, through not substance, but uh, supplements, supplements, sorry. So supplements were a huge part of so the nutrition. Yeah, when you start feeding your brain, it really does make changes in your life, doesn't it? And when you start giving your body the compounds that it needs to survive, um, it's always, always great, right? <laughs> like it's much yeah, better I'm... than malnourished, right? Right. And so we wanted to, <laughs> in the chapter, um, let everyone know that there is a way to move through um, substance abuse mm. and um, recover themselves and um, without like deep resistance. It's a process of finding out what, why you're using it for a coping mechanism. Yeah, what absolutely. is causing figure you figure out need. what is making you self medicate in the first place? Exactly. Right. Exactly. right. Inciting no, incident, something. inciting incident or root cause is always, always, always going to be the way to go. And doing I that think, deep dive kind of work, I think, is how right. people can have lasting results. Exactly. Well, that's the point. The, the, the whole, I guess, basis on which we've been doing this process is to remove the reason and the whatever was bringing up the desire to use the coping mechanisms of substance and deal with those things and not just continue to push them down. So that using drugs and alcohol was just a way of pushing down all the things that I had no idea how to deal with. Yeah. And then we introduce, um, uh, new coping skills and healthier ways to manage your stress and your triggers and, and all of those things. And we find that in our own relationship of the dance of life, that when something comes up for me or something comes from him, we talk about it and we release it and we find a new way to be. And so we really wanted to show the world that it's really possible to do the dance of life in peace and love and trust. Nice, very nice. So if you guys um, have piqued the interest of any of our listeners, where can they reach out and find you guys if they would also like some support with their own empowered recovery process, wherever they're at and in their um, process, where's the best place for them to reach out? Well, if they want to contact one or the other of us, they can contact on an uh, email, uh, cmlotus at sbcglobal.net or matthewstevennoonan at gmail.com. Very good. Okay, and before we sign off, I would love to leave our listeners with a super tip. What is a super tip that you would offer somebody in their own empowered recovery process that um, they can do today, right now, if they need to get themselves together at this time? For me, it would be that each person needs to know that there is nothing wrong with them. The fact that they seek out coping mechanisms like alcohol or drugs or something does not mean there's something wrong with them as a person that, that doesn't make them a bad person. They just have blocks inside of them that they need other coping 
skills. They need to learn other ways of discovering what these are and healing those things so that they can live a fulfilled life. And that no. the other thing is, is that no matter what situation you are in in life, you always have a choice. Isn't that and nice? No yeah. victims here. You right. always, always have, have a choice. A yeah. Well said, Kathleen. I love it. So this is Kathleen Michaels Brader and Matthew Noonan. And uh, their power, or excuse me, their chapter, Empowered Recovery and the Dance of Life, will be available in the Awakened Leaders um, Empowering Stories um, of Self Healing, Triumph, and Transformation in April of 2022. Make sure to look for their chapter in the Awakened Leaders book. Now, just for fun, you guys, would you like me to draw a self mastery card for each of you to um, to sure. see what our leaders um, and listeners can um, check in with today? Let me That'd be beautiful. We get. Let's get one. These are the new um, self mastery oracle cards that just were published just about um, a month ago. At this point, let's see what we got. Going fast. Going fast. Ah, okay. I got a seventh chakra card. This card is called Harmonize, and this is the seventh chakra card, one of the purple cards. And it says Harmonize. Now this is a um this is a doTERRA um oil I like I'm using here. It's the in tune um to harmonize the energy field and the card reads activate and allow higher frequency energies to harmonize within you as you step forward into your divine purpose and then it has a link here where you can get that in tune focus blend from um doTERRA so this word and message is about harmonizing Beautiful. the energy field and the um, seventh chakra that's cool seventh chakra Beautiful. today that's kind of cool yeah, it does love 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 it okay my friends that's gonna be a wrap for today i hope that everybody has got a great nugget for themselves and you will look forward to the beautiful chapter from kathleen and matthew in our upcoming book awakened leaders and until next time everybody this is ariel asher with positive vibes with ariel healing body mind and soul until next time, happy healing.